Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel Fond Mania. So in today's video, we are going to compare the Arduino benchmark of the IQ Neo 6 versus the Realme GT2. So the IQ Neo 6 is in the AG128 GB variant in the cyber blue color and this is the AG128 variant in the steel black color. So guys, let's get started. So the Realme GT2 versus the IQ Neo 6. So before uh, testing the Arduino benchmark, I am going to add the Arduino benchmark to the GT mode. So let me turn on the GT mode on so you can see so gt mode is turned on for the maximum performance on the realme gt2 and meanwhile i'm gonna add the Arduino benchmark the ultra game mode in the iq neo 6 for the maximum performance ultra game mode add so adding the Arduino benchmark and the Arduino 3d bench so now let's check the Arduino benchmark on both of them so you can see See, test now and meanwhile we have an Oppo Reno 8 Pro with the Dimensity 8100 Max so we are gonna test that too and I will be putting this in the high performance mode so battery uh, advanced settings high performance but I would be mainly concentrated on these two of the guys that means the Realme GT2 versus IQ Neo 6 anyways let's check this two for a reference so so we are gonna test these three of them so in three two one and go So guys, these are the scores of the Snapdragon 888 versus the Snapdragon 870 and this we can left over here. This is the Dimensity 2100 Max which we can talk about later. So let's first check these two. So the CPU is 2 lakh versus 1 lakh 90. Okay, good. And the major improvement is in the GPU. That means 3 lakh 17,000 versus 2 lakh 45,000. So that's a nice improvement in the Snapdragon 888 versus the 870 over here. And also in terms of memory, 1 lakh 45 versus 1 lakh 29. And in terms of the UX, wow, UX is slightly higher on the IQ Neo 6. You can see 1 lakh 61 versus 1 lakh 54,000. Okay, and the total scores comes to be 8 lakh 24,000 versus 7 lakh 27,000. Okay, so uh, incredible job from the uh, Snapdragon 888. So yes, let's check the temperature from 30 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius and over here from to be precise 28.5 to 37 degree and 29.7 to 41.9 that means 12.2 degree Celsius uh, temperature is increased on the uh, uh, Snapdragon triplet Realme GT2 and over here that's 8.5 degree Celsius is increased on the 870. You can see so in terms of the throttling i would say uh the snapdragon triple it is a bit warm chip as you can see already and in terms of the battery drop six percent of batteries dropped on the realme g2 versus five on the iq neo 6. so guys let's check the storage test also so you can see the read speed is almost same 27k and 27k and let's check the write speed it's 11k and 11k and regarding the random access speed it's 18k versus 22k so in that terms of random access speed the iq neo 6 is slightly higher than that of uh, the realme gt2 over here now let's check with this with the Dimensity 8100 Max and you can see it's almost getting close with the Snapdragon template over here. You can see 7,92,000 versus you can see 8,24 and it's definitely higher than that of uh, the 870 over here with 7,27 versus 7,92. Let's check in detail. Temperature hype actually it's uh, Dimensity 8100 managed really well. Just 9.5 degrees Celsius up to 37 degrees it's hype and it's reached up to 42 degree on the Realme GT2. So actually it's a warm chip. The Realme GT2 is slightly a warm chip and let's check the storage test. Okay, that means these two handsets are LPD5 and UFS 3.1. Still this much difference between both. Wow, nice job from the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. So guys, I have already done uh, the comparison between the Realme GT2 versus IQ Neo 6 Oppo Reno 8 Pro versus uh, the other devices and you can check them on my channel list and all so guys that's all for today signing off it's for mania